We are fine. Hello, ma'am. Great. Hello. Hello, Aisha Kazi. And who else is joining in? Hello, Anna. Hello, Rushda. Hello, Mohammad. Ma'am, today yes. we are going to complete our uh, flamingo drawing painting. Ma'am, I ma already completed it. Yes. Ma'am, my book. Ma'am, ma'am, my book is lost. Ma'am, I already oh, completed. Great, Rushda. Can I have a look at that? How come, Anna? No, I have really, uh, last month. Uh, la last week I have. I kept in my cupboard, then I saw yesterday there is the book is lost, ma'am. Oh, it will be there in the house only. Once again, you search for it, you'll get it. Um, uh, when I will see, ma'am, yes, I, I will see the recording. Yes, no problem. Ibrahim, could you manage to make one? Ma'am, that day. Hi, Hamdan. How are you? Check the recording. So, ma'am, I checked Hi, the recording. Oh, good. It was oh, not there. Then that day only. Recording is that not there. Day, oh, okay. Yeah, Can and then know? that day only. It, uh, the previous recording was uploaded. I was searching for so long. Can and you see it properly? After so much time, it was uploaded. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes, Rushda, can I have a look? Uh, if you have to hold it a little higher. I was also absent. Okay, my husband. My cousin's sister's wedding was there. Um, are we gonna start a new? Are we gonna start a new drawing, okay. or we are gonna continue with the uh, with the same drawing? Uh, today we will complete our painting. Little bit is left now, so we will finish it today. And the next class we will start a new topic, okay? Because we have holidays in between, so I thought let us start after the holidays, okay? Yes. Uh, sorry, I just got disconnected for a while there. Uh, okay, so let's start. Everybody is in. Okay, is my painting visible to you? Yes. Ma'am, I'm already done to, with the flamingo painting. So can I do my other? Uh, can I do other painting? Yes. 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 You can go ahead and do. Okay. Thank you. Anything else you can do? Just don't leave, but do something. Okay. Do some painting. Okay. So fine. So we are just uh, left with one flamingo. So again, last time I had shown you all how to mix the color on the flamingo itself. So we'll do that again on this. And here we will change the shade slightly to orangish, okay? So first I'm going to apply the white on the entire flamingo. Ma'am, I have applied it from first. Okay, so what you will have to do is now just apply a thin paint because when we add the other color, it has to be. Okay. So, uh, the paint, it might be the color and 
So as you can see, I have this crimson spot uh, on the flamingo, but it is not visible as I have it is dried up and I have applied another coat of paint. Okay, so that's how acrylic works. So if you have to blend it, you will have to do it on the wet paint itself. So now I will just add a little bit of orange on the Feathers. Okay, I want to show a little orange feather. Ma'am, I, I uh, don't have orange you can color. Okay, so you can use uh, crimson as we have used over here on this flamingo. You can use the crimson color. Okay, here I'm just showing you another shade of flamingo. So if you see the flamingo picture, you have these various Beautiful shape that flamingos has. One is a crimson pink, another is orangish, and obviously white. So their whole body is white, and some of the feathers are of pink or orange color. Ma'am, after that we have to apply orange on it. Yes. Yes, Abdullah. Okay. Now what I'm doing is this particular planet has made it some so to just going to apply like the feather. A feather touch. Okay, so if you see, only the feathers are slightly orange shade. Okay, and then which orange? Is light orange color. Okay, the one I'm using is a proper orange color. But whichever orange shade you have, you can use. And if you don't have orange, uh, go ahead and use the crimson as we have used in the earlier part. Okay. Now here I want to add a little, little touch of pink also. Okay, so either a pink or a crimson, but very little. Just, just I'm just touching the tip of my brush to the color, very little, and I'm just in between the orange. I'm going to apply this pink. Okay. Blend it nicely with the white. It is shape. Okay, so if the color has dried up, again pick up a little white and apply. Okay, so then you will get a beautiful shade here, which is not exactly orange. It's a pastel shade of orange. Abdullah, I'm sure you've seen a lot of flamingos around your area. Yes, ma'am. We went to see them. Yes. So have you? Yes, and they're beautiful. And only when they lift their wings, you can see the shades of pink, right? Otherwise, they are visible uh, as white. Yes, sir. Okay. So, but in our painting, we want to show the shape. So, we are going to use vibrant shades here. Okay. So, can you see both the flamingos are looking quite different? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take some white, once you're done with this, okay? Now 
once we are completed with this flamingo uh, then the pink one that we have i'm going to add little more white to it just to show the feathers making him a little more fluffy okay so just little bit on top let the lower portion be and slightly on the neck also i want to apply white okay So the distance. Can you make out the distance? When you use the color, what will happen is, as you use another color on top of it, it blends. Okay, but acrylic, it is opaque and it's a plastic color. So you can easily cover it up if you don't want a particular shade. Okay. So here I'm using a translucent white so that the pink is slightly visible. Okay. Now the beak area. So once you are done, just give me a thumbs up. Then we go ahead with the beak area. Hello, Mera Kasi. Okay. Why are you so quiet? Even last class you didn't speak up at all. You forgot your badminton partner. It's so good to see all of you. Huh? All of you have your videos on. Very nice. I like this class. Ma'am, can you show how to make it big? Uh, who wants to see that? Ma'am, the big Omar. Omar. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'll get a pencil and I'll show it to you.
Okay, Omar, can you see my? Can you see? Omar? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so suppose this is the flamingo's head portion and the beak is long like this and it goes curved down here. Okay. This is how the beak is. I'm asking the color. No, man, the color. color. Okay. Yeah, we'll just let, let everybody finish when we start with the beak. Okay, so the beak of the flamingo, uh, what we are going to first use is, is everybody done with this? So the beak like this. I'm going to apply a pink color on the entire beak. Just apply this color on the entire beak. Uh, you can use the crimson and white. Don't make it too dark crimson. On the entire beak, just apply this. Just try to cover the pencil mark. This thing I will apply on this one. Okay. Now this oh, is a little light. So I'm going to make his beak also slightly light. Okay. So I'm going to apply white over it. A thin layer of white so that the thing gets a little bit hidden. Okay. Now I just wait for a while. Till then, I'm going to use the yellow color now. You can use lemon yellow or golden yellow, whichever you have with you. And I'm going to take a thick yellow paint on my brush and apply on its eyes. Okay. And I let it dry. Okay, only once it has dried up, I will apply a black spot on the eye. Okay. Now after this, we have to continue with the legs also. And then, the painting complete. Now, let's do the beat, the first beat.
this is how the beat is. Did all of you understand this part? Same Ma'am, what, uh, what is the color of the legs? The leg is going to be again a, a, a darker shade of crimson. So just hold on, okay? Just hold on. We are going to add a little bit of the beak green. should be black. Yes, but not the entire beak as we see here. Okay. Make a tiny dot over the yellow portion of the eye. Is it visible to all of you? Can you see the eye and the beak? Ma'am, in my drawing. Yeah, that's lovely. Very nice, Aisha. Okay, now we do the legs. So the legs now we are going to use a crimson shade on it. The same crimson skin, uh, crimson that we used on the body. And on the body, we added white color. Here, we will add either a dark blue color or a little bit of black color. Okay? Ma'am, we have to use black for the uh, borders of the flamingo legs. No, 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 no. One second, I'll show it to you. Okay? So once I'm using the crimson, I'm just adding a little black to darken it up, okay? So it will be a dark shade of crimson color. If you can, if you have a blue, go ahead and use a blue color. I'm just adding a little bit of white so that it gets highlighted. Okay, the leg gets highlighted. And here, as you see, there are some broken uh, area, like, you know, so you can see the white here. So the leg doesn't look straight. So 
So that area later on you have to cover it up with the water color, that is the blue color. Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, seen it? Yeah, just a moment. Is that Aisha? Aisha no, no, I mean. Hold on, I'll just come to you. Yeah, that's lovely. Very nice. Let me draw. I you understand from this. Another way of making the leg is you can directly use a white color, okay? And you have to take care that the pencil marks are hidden, okay? And wherever uh, when you are drawing the leg and if there is any white portion like over here, cover it up with the blue to make it look blue. Okay, so I have used only white in this. And then I will use
see this portion here is white because I have mixed the leg. So here I'm going to cover it up with blue. Okay. So all these are finishing touches which you have to give once the entire painting is painted. Okay. So wherever you find now here I can see a pencil mark. So I'm going to cover it up. Done my drawing now. Can I see full back? Hamza. Yes, Hamza, just a minute. Yes, Hamza. Oh wow, this is the giraffe that you have made. Yeah. You made one more today? Yeah. Lovely, very nice. So, who else has completed? Unless your video is stuck. Ma'am, my work is completed. Done it. Aisha Kazi. Yeah, just a minute, Aisha. Let me see. Yes, one second. I'll come to you. Let me just check. Ma'am, can you see? Yes. Yes, I can see. That's lovely, Aisha. So, uh, what I can just suggest you is that around the uh, leg area, wherever the, uh, you know, it's a blank, if there is a blank, just use blue and cover it up. And on the feathers, use a thick white. See, I'll show you once again. Just use a thick white and just give this feathery look, okay? Just apply some white so it looks nice and fluffy. Okay? okay. Otherwise, your painting is very heavy. Anyone else? That's Abdullah. Wow, that's lovely, Abdullah. So the same thing I'll tell you also. Just use thick white color and uh, apply it like feathers to make your flamingo look nice and fluffy, okay? Great work. Who else has completed? Humera, Anna. Hamda, and where are you? You still at your farm? No, ma'am. You're back to Bombay? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Okay, Anna. Juveria, what have you been doing today? Mama made a scenery. Can I see? Yes, yes. Anna. Wow, 
Wow, that's so beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Lovely. Thank you. So you don't like the film? Or you're going to try them? Uh, ma'am, I like the flamingo, so, but uh, I did not uh, start it in the previous class. So now I'm a bit uh, slow. So I, to, I, I did Okay, no issue. Ma'am, Humaira Kassim, Ishtaga. Did you manage to complete the legs also? Ma'am, finished. Yeah, who's, uh, yes, Amina. Hamza, that's lovely. Very nice. Okay, all of you save all your paintings, huh? I want to see all of them. Maybe next month we might be having one exhibition of all your paintings. Aisha, I haven't seen your work at all. Humaira Kassim, I haven't seen yours. Ma'am, ma I did not complete yet. Can I see whatever you have done? Yes. Yes, Humaira.
Okay, anybody else who's showing me the painting? Then we will end the session. And now we will meet after the holiday. Okay, another thing which you have to do after completing every painting of yours is write your name here at the bottom. Okay? You can write it with a marker or paint and paint brush. All your paintings must have your signature below it. Okay, everybody. So now we meet in the next class. Complete your work and do post it on the Google Classroom. Ibrahim, although you have missed the session earlier, just go through the recording and complete it. Ma'am, we have to post to this painting on Google Classroom. Yes, every, every time we paint something, you have to post it on Google Classroom, okay? Okay. okay. So I would love to see all your bye paintings. Bye. 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 Enjoy your holidays, bye all bye. of you. See you after bye that. Bye. bye.